Hi guys, this is Arshad Prashi and welcome to my training room and uh, this is English language video and I hope you have been enjoying my other videos as well. Even in Urdu language I try to keep my videos very simple and very straightforward so people can understand including the demonstration or actually uh, playing the shorts what I am talking about in Urdu language. So I hope that is helping. If you want some certain videos in English, please message me or uh, ask me. If you have any question in Urdu language videos, do let me know. So uh, the people who have uh, not uh, who have not joined my online snooker academy, please send me a WhatsApp number on my uh, on the numbers available on the screen, and uh, I'll send you the details. It's very important and very uh, healthy activity for the people who cannot approach me or reach me. Uh, because of their time constraints and they are wondering that what's going right and what's wrong. So uh, also share my channel. So today what we are going to talk about is the options of uh, playing my white ball, uh, my uh, playing, my, potting my black ball and making a position of yellow ball. So it's very tricky but very advanced. I will try to make it as simple as possible and giving you two, three good options of uh, potting your black ball from this angle off that cushion or without cushion or screw shot whatever we are going to score today I am going to give you a few options to make a good position on the yellow shot so let's start our okay game. so let me start with a few practices I am going to place my white ball uh, this area then I am going to place my white ball there and then I am going to place my white ball on this position it's slightly off straight shot and I'm going to give you two, three options. There are more options which I'll uh, cover in some other videos from where I can use these two cushions to make position on yellow. But today I'm going to talk about these very simple three shots and a bonus shot in the end. But that I would like to keep as a secret that uh, if things going wrong, how you can make good position on yellow. So let me start with the, so you have noticed the position. So you are starting with the lowest ball which is if you are straight uh, on the black you can see your white ball is below black so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a very simple shot okay and uh, we're gonna explore that how good we can get on the position I think the cameraman can go on the yellow spot so once I'll play a shot you can see the reaction Well guys, uh, I'm going to play my first shot that is going to be from the uh, slightly blue from the black as you've seen earlier. I'm going to play my shot with the plus three and then slight touch of uh, right hand side but not too much but just a very slight touch. So that's not a bad shot, you can pot yellow and then you can place position on the green and you can see it's a very good actually angle a very nice angle I like to play a short here you can see it perfectly on the green so uh, let's move to the second shot this is the practice I would like you guys to do at least uh, 10 times, 15 times that will give you the advantage on other players that you know that uh, way to hit and how to have a good position on the if you are if you have potted last red and uh, you are on the black and people mess up they can't finish the frame because they lose position their white ball is either near the cushion or probably a rest shot so we are trying to make a good shot well I am going to play my second shot and it will be three uh, plus three with the right hand side and this time I am going to add a profit extra of the side so white ball can spin and move towards the uh, yellow avoiding blue ball so try this short and this slide right hand side that should be short I think yes so you can see the side pushes away towards the blue if I play with the plain ball your white ball might hit the blue so you will not be able to get this angle so this is a very good short very good angle you can pot it and then can clear up the frame frame shot you I'm going to talk about frame shot as well I think I have uh, done it in my other videos but not in English language but I will so this is very interesting 
So uh, this is going to be slightly power fraud. That's a short, that's the right hand side that pushes my white ball away from the cushion. Slightly slower, I need to put slight more power than this short. Let me play this short again. It's a decent short, I think. Yes, as you can see in the camera, I'm in a very good position on the yellow. That's where we're supposed to be of this cushion. I can come on this green short. So this is one of the options. This, these practices are very, very, very important. You need to make sure that you do it right and you do it regularly because even after so many, so many years, so many experience, top players, you know, mess up these shorts. So you make sure that you play good shorts here. Okay, now. With, from the third position, I'm going to play the same short without the cushion and moving towards yellow. With a bit of a left hand side, actually I'm going to hit it somewhere between minus 2 and 3 and let's see how my white ball reacts. So you can see it was a decent short. But my white ball finishes near the cushion. I wanted my white ball slightly in this area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this short again. This is the way to practice. You need to keep practicing. You need to make every player has his own ability to practice. How much you practice is going to show up in your game. If you want to perfect it a bit more, you want to finish somewhere there, there, you mark it. But it purely depends on you that how much table time you're spending on your practice. And practicing these shorts are very important because what happens is so many times. Uh, when the situation occurs, you know, uh, player's mind doesn't cope up with that because he never practiced that shot and he was worrying that I don't know if I what short should I do. So it's good idea to practice the shots so when in the game these occurs, you can, uh, you know, straight away <coughs> play the short normally. Sorry. So now, time for a surprise shot, which is very interesting. This is below black. Yes, below black, and this is uh, actually this short has been played many times by Stephen Henry and all top players. Basically, hitting the white ball, this cushion, hitting on this cushion, and coming off between brown and yellow, and making good position on the on the yellow ball. So let me play this short. In this short, I'm going to play slightly steady short with right hand side, but not too much. Touch of right hand side, and let's see how my white ball finishes. It's one cushion, two cushion, and between yellow and brown, perfect show. This is yellow. So this is one of the practice that maybe you would like to do uh, on your practice table. Keep watching this video again and again. If you don't understand anything, ask me a question. Share this video. And if you want a video on a specific topic, just send me a message. I will try to spare some time and try to make a video. And uh, if you haven't joined my online snooker coaching academy, please WhatsApp me at the number uh, that is mentioned on the tag and uh, must be sprawling. So I'll get back to you with the details. It's very cost effective wherever, uh, whichever part of the Pakistan or the world you are, send me a message and I'll try to put you in to my online again. So thank you very much. Please do share my videos and uh, do share my channel. If you want a super table, if you want to invite me to your country, your city, your uh, club, I'm available. I travel according to my schedule. 
So, awaiting your feedback on this. Thank you very much. Bye.